Lamb Parmigiano with Salsa Verde. The pads, I'm very impressed with that. The competition to stay in boot camp is hotting up has outcome the notebooks. They know they mustn't miss a thing if they're going to stay the course. Angela prepares the lamb. She trims off the excess fat and sinews. So slide your knife across. Cuts two little chops, two little chops. then scrapes the fat off the bones for presentation. Right, Sarah, come round here. Like most of the students, Sarah is squeamish about raw ingredients. Right, take the piece of, uh, take your knife and just scrape down, oh, hold it down like this. Come on, Sarah. Sarah is a successful sales executive with a two-year-old daughter, but she's a total novice in the kitchen. If you had a blindfold on, you wouldn't think that was that bad. Oh. I wouldn't. Yeah, but you can't cook. OK. Can she overcome her squeamishness and stay the course? Oh, it's bleeding now. It's not bleeding, it's dead. Oh. It's not... <laughs> it's still bleeding. With all the fat trimmed, Angela puts the chops between cling film and lightly bashes them out. This will ensure even and quick cooking. She dips the chops into seasoned flour and a beaten egg. Now it's time for the coating. Just to complicate your lives. Oh, God. What? Why did you say, oh, God, Bob? No, no, when you said the word complicate, I suddenly thought life is complicated enough already. Life is complicated. <laughs> She grates some Parmesan cheese and adds it to the breadcrumbs, then dips the chops then into the mixture. Into the breadcrumbs and cheese, OK? Next, it's the salsa verde. Now, we're going to serve those with what we call salsa verde. First, a dash of white wine vinegar, then two cloves of chopped garlic, some ripped basil leaves and parsley. Then she adds two cured anchovies. But some of the raw recruits are baffled by the next ingredient, Papers. Eat one, Rachel. You'll be fine. It's not going to poison you. Put it in your mouth and eat it. Put it in your mouth. Rachel, you want to eat healthily. Rachel is a part-time model who succeeded in being a real zero at the London auditions. That Don't point, my God. to be a source. <laughs> That's spike <book. laughs> Day one at boot camp and she cooked like a catwalk diva. Rachel's going to make pasta without actually getting her hands dirty. Swallow. Can Angela's tutoring put a stop to her food phobia and bring out her passion for cooking? I'm a Michelin star chef. I'm not going to poison you, yeah? Angela blends the ingredients to a puree, then drizzles in some olive oil for the right consistency. Just blend with a touch of olive oil. Time to cook the chops. Just a little drizzle, probably about a spoon. She puts olive oil and butter right. in the pan. And then put your lamb into the pan, OK? Straight down like so. What you don't want, note, guys, is when you put it in the pan, there'll be no sizzling and basically the breadcrumbs to have just absorbed the fat and the oil, OK? Because that means your pan's not hot enough, OK? It's got to sizzle, OK? She then cooks the chops until golden on both sides. Beautiful. You see where it's red there on the bone? You can see it's undercooked. So what I'm going to do is take my spoon and just baste that piece of lamb there, OK? The chops are drained off and served with the salsa verde. Lamb parmigiano with salsa verde. A delicious, simple dish with a sauce that's just blended together. It should be easy enough, even for this lot, if they were paying attention. Concentrate, yeah? Because one of you, this afternoon, I have to evict. You're going home. Off you go. Thank you.